Hello everyone, this is Kate with Scotland Run Marketing. Today I want to go over with you how to add your brand assets to the designs library uh, for your print and social designs. Um, these assets will allow you to easily personalize your designs in command and easily pull in those assets so that you don't have to upload them every, every time you want to use them. So it's just a convenient way for you to create your designs. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to go to agent.kw.com and log into command using our username and password. Um, now for this, you will want to make sure your password has capitalizations. It is case sensitive. Um, however, your username is not. Um, if you're running into issues, make sure you don't have any spaces before or after your password, um, as those will also cause you to get an error that it's not working. Um, so we're going to go ahead and log in. Now, once we're logged in um, and everything loads for today's class or for today's tip video, we're going to take a look at designs. Um, again, this is where you're going to add your brand assets um, that you can easily pull into those designs. So for today, we're going to take a look at import designs. And once we're in import designs, I want to check on assets. So that is where we're going to find those assets. Now, when you're in here, you're going to notice that you have Keller Williams assets. Those are the ones provided by KWRI that you can pull in and use for every design that you create. You also have my assets down below. Now, this will allow you to create custom um, images, palettes, fonts, things like that that you're going to use for your various designs. Um, so the first one is fonts and colors. Um, so if you have branded your team or yourself as an individual agent and you have set color scheme that you would like to use for the majority of your designs, you can go ahead and create that. Um, and let's take a look at that. So if I want to add, um, I'm going to name it uh, 2124 for today's date. Um, and then I can start grabbing my colors. Um, if I hit that plus sign and then find the color that I'm looking for, let's say we're going to do bright blue. Um, I'm also going to do a lighter blue. Um, let's do a gray. So I do like that gray. Let's go ahead and keep that. Uh, we always use black. I'm going to put white in there as well. You're just dragging this where you want to use it. Um, as you can see, it's filling in those colors as I do it. Um, so after that, I'm also going to use, let's see, like a dark navy blue, maybe. Maybe a little bit brighter because it looks a little weird. Um, but now I have my palette. So if I were creating designs and I wanted to use those colors, I could easily pull them from my, my assets when I'm under call it colors and fonts um, to pull in those. Um, if you have specific fonts that you would like to use, you can upload them or find some on the web um, that you like. Uh, let's do this one here. I kind of like that one. And I like the cursive uh, signature type fonts. Um, it's just my, my preference. We'll add those. Now these fonts will be available for me to pull in and use. Let's say I grabbed one by mistake and I want to delete it. I could certainly do that as well by clicking those three dots. Same for up here. If you want to delete them or rename them, you can do that as well. Um, next is images. So if you have specific images that you're going to use, generally these are going to be like your, um, your headshot, things like that that you're going to use on a regular basis. Having them within command assets makes them easy for you to pull those into designs. Um, so if we needed to upload that, we would hit upload image. I could get them from any of those various places, um, but we're going to take a look at these right here and we're going to pull in Scott again for the hundredth time. <laughs> now, again, if I want to clean these up because I've uploaded it a lot, I can go ahead and delete those. Um, now, as you can see, there are some without a background. Command will also allow you to remove that background. Um, so that makes it super easy. You could click this right here and hit remove background. Um, we can actually do that with this one here. And it should go ahead and remove that and create a new photo for us. So super easy. Um, this one's a little blurry, so I'm going to delete that. Um, but it makes it really easy to pull those into your designs. Um, you could also create a folder. Um, say I want to create one for myself. I could then move those photos of me in there and keep Scott's out. It's where I can use his. 
Um, so you can create those custom folders. Again, you can also rename, delete. Um, some other options on the photos, download, view, uh, use, duplicate. So you have those options as well. Text, this one comes in handy for, um, let's say your branded app link or your website link, things like that, that you don't wanna have to type out every single time um, because that would make you have to remember them. So having them as your asset would make them easy to pull in. Um, for this one, let's go ahead and grab our um, app link so that we can add that. So to find your app link, you come to consumer, happy. And then if I come back, I can go ahead and add that. Um, it will have you select what you're adding. Um, I believe there is, maybe there's not one for app. That's okay, we can do other, but do keep in mind there's ones for your website, your Instagram, Facebook links, things like that. Um, slogans, if you have a vision um, or mission and um, as well as like your bio, you can add all of those things here to where they're easy to access. Um, so I'm gonna put app code and then I can go ahead and, oh, and I did that wrong, I'm sorry. Of my thing, this is right with the app code. So it's giving me the option to create the title for it, like what category it is, and go ahead and throw that link in there. So again, you can add folders if you have uh, team members and you're creating visuals for them as well. You could create folders for each of them with their various information to where you can pull those in. Logos, you can add your various logos. As you can see, I have a bunch of KW logos. Um, you can find your KW logo on kwconnect.com um, and go ahead and upload those. So you can do them by folder uh, or if you're just wanting to add them all here, you can do that as well. So same thing you upload, we'll go ahead and grab the SLM one and the KW one. I'm clicking both of those and we'll go ahead and upload. And then we have those right there. Now, again, I can clean this up, put these into folders uh, or leave them as I would like. Elements, um, these are gonna be icons. If you take a look at KWRI's ones, these are going to be like for phone, mobile, um, any kind of icon that you may use on a regular basis um, for your various designs. So some of these are great because you're including your phone number, website, things like that. Um, but you can make them your color. So if you wanna adjust the color of them so that they match your palettes, you can certainly do that. Um, you can also upload videos. Um, into your assets um, by coming here and uploading. Um, you can also add PDF files that you want to uh, use for your various designs or add to. Uh, so you can come there and find those as well. Um, that was our tip video to, for today, how to upload and edit those assets for your designs. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions at all, please email us at support at We would be so happy to help. Um, have a great day.